Good day, everyone. I was born and raised in Detroit. Growing up there, I saw people like me running things. This is a courtroom, not a circus, so we're gonna calm down. I'm sorry. What I found there was a passion that I didn't know existed. This is the bottom line. I'm excited to free fall into the limitless possibilities with we the people. So many are fearful of the law. They think it's something that works against them. I think you need to begin to accept responsibility for your mistakes. We are the people. Yusuf Menon claims his friend ruined his back and his wedding after she gave him a massage. Claudia Griffin says if Mr. Menon really wanted to get married, he shouldn't have cheated on her friend. All right. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lauren Lake presiding. Please be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Good day, everyone. Good day. This is the case of Menon versus Griffin. Uh, Mr. Menon, you are suing Ms. Griffin for $2,500 because you say you suffered injuries because of a massage she gave you. Yes, Your Honor. Explain to the court. Um, so my ex-fiance and I went to Miss Claudia here for a wedding present that she offered to us. When we went there, she did my ex-fiance perfectly fine. When she came to me, all of a sudden, there's a whole lot of pain going on. So you got a massage, you and your ex-fiance hired Miss Griffin to do a massage? No, she offered us a, a massage. She offered it to you. It yes. was a gift. Yes. For your engagement? Uh, for our wedding, which was the next day. Oh, for your wedding? Yes. That was the next day? And you said ex-fiance? Yes. Okay, uh, so this is going to be good, Sean. I think so. So you get a massage, and you say for your ex-fiance it was fine. Mm -hmm. Then with you, there was a lot of pain. Yes. Okay, when you say pain, what does that mean? Because I know I don't like those deep tissue massages because they are painful mm -hmm. on purpose. So what, what was the pain? This time it felt like there was, there was just a sharp pain that I've never experienced before. So Ms. Griffin, you gave Mr. Menon a massage? Yes, ma'am. I gave them a massage for their, in a, for their wedding present. Was it your first time giving Mr. Menon a massage? No, I've, I've gave them both massages before. Oh, so they were past clients of yours? Yes, ma'am. And but also, this massage was a gift because they were getting married the next day. Yes, ma'am. And he complains that now that there was pain during the procedure, but I asked him several times during the procedure, is this okay? He kept telling me to go deeper, like, with this macho attitude, like, he said that he can take it, and so I'm going to get a client what he asked for. And so hold on, Mr. Menon, so you, during the massage, were t you were telling Ms. Griffin that you wanted more pressure? Yes, I go to the gym on a regular basis, and you have to really dig deep to get through the muscles. But you just said I was hurting you the whole time, so why would you tell me to go deeper if I'm asking because you if it's okay, and you're telling me that it's fine, but now you're telling me that there was pain the whole time. You right, weren't, you weren't and you're hitting. telling me the same thing, and it doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. He's a liar, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. She wasn't going as deep as needed to relieve the pain that was there. So you're thinking that was a pain that you had in your back or whatever, and that if she massaged deeper, mm -hmm. that it would then take that knot out. Which has happened before, yes. Okay, so you are admitting in open court right now that you were telling her you wanted more pressure in this massage. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so you asked for more pressure, she and gave it, mm -hmm. so why are you suing her for $2,500? What no. happened? Now, due to the fact that my wedding was the next day and she's clearly against us being happy together. Why is that, that Yosef? Why wait, would wait, I be how, against you guys? Wait a minute, how do we skip to that? Yeah, why we, would that be We've gone from massage together? to she's not happy you're with your fiance? She, she's had problems with us before. I've never had a problem with you before, yo, so why would I even be here? Why would I give you a massage, offer you a all massage? All right, hold on, exactly. hold on. I don't have all day, so tell me what's really going on. What's really going on is this, we're here out of spite. He's upset with me because he's cheated on Paula and I... Who's Paula? The fiance? Yes, ex -fiance? my friend. My friend and his ex-fiance. Paul, stand up. You brought Paula as a witness. 
Yes. Miss Dev, so you are the ex fiance. I am. And your massage went just fine. My massage went fine. His did too. He's just mad. So you remember his reaction after he got the massage? Yes. What was it? He was fine when we walked out. I actually saw him hurt himself the week before. He was putting together a home gym in our garage. He tweaked his back and was complaining about it the whole time. When we got there, he kept telling her to go deeper. She did, and he was like, this don't phase me because he want to be macho all the time, and he was fine. Afterwards, we had my bachelorette party, to which when she disclosed to me that she knew he was cheating on me. So mm -hmm. I called off the wedding. Now all of a sudden his back hurt and he want to bring somebody to the court. Exactly. Coming up. Were you having an affair with someone while you were engaged to your fiance? I wouldn't call it an affair. What would you call it? And later. Paul is following me around and still in his robe. He's kind of lingering as I'm Mr. doing Francis? my Mr. Francis? Yes. Is following you around the house? Yes, while I'm doing my chores. In his robe. Closed captioning provided by If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1 888 552 6878. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. We're back with the case of Yusuf Menon and Claudia Griffin, who are fighting over a massage injury. You say you saw him injure his back. Ms. Griffin, did you have them sign a waiver or, you know, an acknowledgement of prior issues with their body? Um, as far as paperwork, no, ma'am. Because these are my friends, we have done these massages before. Um, I do have a normal procedure for my other clients where they fill out a checklist. Did and... you bring that checklist yes, with I you? Did. Yes, I May did. May I see it, please? My license is also in there. I've been in, I've been doing this for 10 years. I've never Thank had a problem you. before. So I've never had a problem. Your license is here. Yes. And then this is the paperwork you have clients fill out. Yes. On their first visit to you, did they fill this out? The first time I've ever worked with them, I did have them fill out something. Do you remember them having any injuries? Did you bring that paperwork? No, ma'am. That was years ago. Did, We've been friends since college. When you came in for this massage, did you ask both of the parties verbally, do you have any areas you want me to avoid or no? Well, he had already told me that he was feeling pain, and this is the reason why I offered them the massage, because he said that he was having some, some pain and he wanted to be a, have a pain-free day the day of his wedding. I Did told you... you I was sore. Right, but you did not disclose to me that you had an injury. All right. What evidence do you have that Ms. Griffin injured you? So my, I have actually my medical record from uh, the day after. So instead of our wedding, I went to the hospital um, to have everything. I'd like to, to have that everything to have so that evidence, please. The... <laughs> so after, wait, after the what? After the massage. Uh, I was so... going to say after the wedding, you didn't have no wedding because <laughs> we didn't even get to that part yet because you got found out. Right. That part. Talk about applying some pressure. Right, that Jeez. part. He you, you apply some pressure, all right. Were you having an affair with someone while you were engaged to your fiance? I wouldn't call it an affair. What would you call it? Um, more like an uh, entanglement of spirit. Uh, spir an entanglement of what? Sp spiritual, like she's a clown. An girl, entanglement right? of a clown. spirit. A liar, cheater, Sean, and a you've clown. been in an entanglement of spirit? Not this week, not last not week, this not week. ever. <laughs> <laughs> not this week. Listen, the, you got caught. Mm -hmm. And so, wh what is this paperwork? A medical invoice. It's a medical invoice and also the cost of, the, of a chair that I had to purchase in order so I could perform my job. <sighs> There was no way so I was able to So a medical sit. invoice of $2,000, what mm -hmm. it took for you to get x-rays and a readjustment, and then mm -hmm. you had to do a scan. Then you had to buy a chair, an ergonomic chair, because what, your back was killing you? Yes, and I was unable to sit in the chair provided. This is clear. Mr. Mena, listen. When you're gonna put together a whole piece of gym equipment, I can understand how your back could be sore or and or aching, right? Mm -hmm. When you go into a service, you should let your massage therapist know exactly what you've done and where you've gotten pain. Now, Ms. Griffin, I do have a problem with, even though they are friends, 
You need to understand why the paperwork you submitted to me is important. However, I do understand that if you have reoccurring clients, you know, even at the place where I get massages, I do not do the paperwork every single time, but I have paperwork on file and it is in the contract that if things are updated, I need to make sure I'm updating and they also ask me verbally. What has been testified to today is that you did ask him. Mm -hmm. And he did respond that he was feeling some pain because he was sore. Yes. You also testified that you asked for more pressure. Mm -hmm. So in this court's opinion, you have not proved sufficiently that any injury or pain as a result of this massage was caused by the therapist or was it caused because you already were sore or sustained some level of injury when you were putting together the equipment? It wasn't a whole gym Stop equipment. Stop talking, it was Mr. Like, Minute. Stop we, we, talking. <laughs> Stop talking. Because what I see now is your issue is really not with her massage. Your issue is with her message that she relayed to your fiance. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And now, mm -hmm. I, look, look. I only call it the way I see it in here. It, it, you in a massage full of pain talking about more pressure. That's what she's going to do. You can't then get up and say, well, now I'm injured. Because you're not telling her that she's causing pain. Nothing. So this case is over because I can see clear <laughs> through you. Uh, Mr. Manning, your case is dismissed. Judgment for the defendant. Court is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's case is dismissed. And we're supposed to be friends. No, you think this is <laughs> funny, Yosef? Like, no, this, is been... oh, business, this is yes. my business. Your business, This is my business. I cute. did you a favor. Oh, you may now the only reason why I agree baby, with you baby, that we... I would Don't baby me. Yeah. Coming up. While he had his robe on and it was slightly open, that you felt uncomfortable. Like, he was potentially trying to hit on you. Yes, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why the other nannies didn't work out. Closed captioning provided by... You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. Paul and Melissa Francis claim their nanny took their money and a new job after they paid her to stick around. Jessica Cunningham says she couldn't stay once Mr. Francis behaved inappropriately. This is the case of Francis versus Cunningham. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Francis, you are suing Ms. Cunningham for $700 for breaking her nanny agreement. Is that correct? Correct. Yes, Your Honor. Please explain to the court what happened. Paul and I were going to go visit my parents in Philadelphia for two weeks. So as an incentive to keep her as our nanny till we got back, we offered her $700, which is basically her salary because we pay her $400 a week. Did you accept this retainer, this amount, Ms. Cunningham? Yes, I did. Okay, so now what happened? When we got back from vacation, uh, she continued to work the rest of the week. And over the weekend, uh, which she has off from us, she contacted me and let us know that she was no longer gonna be nannying for us. Oh, so when you got back, she quit. Yes. Your Honor, so I do have a text message here from them about these $700. I'd like to see it. Yes. So on here, right it does not indicate that it was for an incentive for me to stay you, with them yes. permanently. But the text message reads, let me see this. It says, hey, we know you want full-time work. Our family's going to go on vacation for two weeks and want it to make sure you're taken care of. We'll be sending you $700 for the missing two weeks. Yes, yeah, so the $700, I accepted it in a way that, you know, lawyers also have a retainer fee. So even if they give you their services or not, they still get paid. And that's oh, kind no, of that's what I... Oh, that's not how it works. When you... <laughs> you just happen to be talking to one. <laughs> when you give a lawyer a retainer fee, they work off the billable hours for the retainer. Mm -hmm. You didn't do that. Coming up. He's still in his robe. He's kind of moving around. The robe's also shifting, so I'm looking away because obviously I don't want to see what's under there. The robe is open? Closed captioning provided by... You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. We're back with a dispute between Paul and Melissa Francis and their former nanny, Jessica Cunningham, over a retainer. Why do you quit when they get back? So, 
that week that I was working with them, it was a normal week. Monday through Wednesday was perfectly fine. On Thursday, however, during my morning routines, I put Thomas down for his nap. And as I was leaving the room, I saw Paul out in the hallway in the robe. And he said, oh, I thought I heard Thomas crying. I told him, no, you know, I put him down for his nap. He's okay. And so usually when I, in the mornings I have a routine, I clean up the mess that we made that morning. The, I prep his snacks. And as I was doing all of my regular chores, Paul is following me around and still in his robe. He's kind of lingering as I'm Mr. doing my Francis chores. Mr. Francis? Yes. Is following you around the house? Yes, while I'm doing my chores. In his robe? Yes. Okay, saying and doing what? He was asking me what my plans were for the weekend. He was asking if I was, you know, kind of like a big party person. And, you know, he's still in his robe. He's kind of moving around. The robe's also shifting, so I'm looking away because obviously I don't want to see what's under there. The robe is open? It's a little, it's slightly open. And he doesn't have on pajama bottoms or no, anything? it's just a robe. Okay, but once he realized that he was okay, why wouldn't he go back and put some pants on? Yes, I was in my robe. I was not following her around. I'm in my home. I'm setting up, I'm getting a bagel. I'm setting up my workstation. I'm just doing my own routine. And, and were you asking her if she liked to party and what her plans were? I did ask her what her plans were for the weekend. I thought it was innocent small talk. I honestly didn't feel any uncomfortableness coming from her, and I didn't think I was overstepping my boundary or, or you know, like being inappropriate in a, in a robe. Judge Lake's verdict when We the People returns. Promotional consideration provided by. You're watching We the People with Judge Lauren Lake. So, Ms. Cunningham, are you testifying that while he had his robe on and it was slightly open, he was potentially trying to hit on you? Yes. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why the other nannies didn't work out. Oh. All right, so the bottom line is you felt like he might be a little creepy, which I get. As a woman, I encourage you to own your power. If you feel uncomfortable somewhere, speak up, say something. Did you, she ever address this with you? No. She did not. All right, so instead, you're a young girl. You, instead of going and addressing it, you just said, you know what, I'm gonna go take this full-time job somewhere else. Where you're wrong is you took the $700 when you knew they were giving it to you so that you would not go work for another family. For this reason, it is the judgment of this court. I am actually not going to award them this full $700 because I do feel like there was something there that Mr. Francis, in the future, you need to be more mindful when you have young women in your home, how you're dressed, how you behave. For that reason, I am going to order that you return to them half of the $700. Judgment for the plaintiff for $350. Court is adjourned. Judge Lake has ruled in favor of the co-plaintiffs. The defendant owes $350. I didn't have another job until that weekend. Next time, do the right thing. You may now exit the courtroom. I've done the right thing. Maybe you should wear clothes next time. Now. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.